Here we have a radius, a right radius proximal to distal, and this would be the Palmer view. We're going to look at the proximal end first. We have the head of the radius, this whole portion here, and then I want you to think about the rim of a basketball goal, the rim all the way around it. Now if we come here, you can see the radial tuberosity. That's where one of the biceps tendons attaches. You can also see how the medial portion of this bone is very sharp. It's kind of like a blade. That is your interosseous crest. So that would be where it comes to the lateral surface of the ulna and the interosseous membrane attaches those two bones here at that crest. Now we are looking distally at this radius. So we have the ulnar notch right there where the ulna would articulate the head of the ulna and we have the styloid process. Now when you're looking at the dorsal surface, I want you to think about a dorsal fin. So you would need to have something sticking up. See all those bumps? If we're looking at the palmar surface, it's very smooth. All that smooth. Dorsal bumpy. And you can see one prominent fin. That's going to be the Lister's tubercle. That very prominent one. All of your extensors are going to run through these grooves. All those tendons are going to run through there. Palmer surface, dorsal surface, and that really big knot is the Lister's tubercle. And that is the radius.